their mission over for today, the Mirage and Rafale planes return to the French airbase Solanzara on the island of Corsica. Most of the French air attacks on Libyan troops are launched from here. These pilots left with two bombs and returned without them. That's all they're permitted to say about their mission. It already fulfills a purpose. We maintain our presence in the skies over Libya, and that makes it hard for Gaddafi's troops to intervene. Such a mission takes a long time. You have to drink a lot of water to fly there and back, but in the end, the aim is achieved. They spent six hours in the air together, a French pilot with a British navigator behind him in the cockpit. It was their two countries, France and Britain, that pushed for this campaign. I believe that what we're doing here is right in that, um, you know, the United Nations resolution has been, has been put in force to stop Gaddafi attacking his people, um, which was totally unjust. And I personally, and I know everybody here, feels like we're doing the right thing because um, not at any moment are we striking against civilians. But that is getting more and more difficult because Gaddafi's troops and the rebels are getting hard to tell apart and the front line is diffuse. The pilots think there was no alternative to supporting the rebels in Benghazi as soon as possible. Gaddafi's troops had advanced very far. If France and Britain hadn't intervened at the last moment, there might have been a massacre. That was French President Nicolas Sarkozy's argument for the Libyan mission. Most of the French are in favour of the operation, and many even think that challenging a dictator could improve France's moral standing in the world. France has always protected human rights, and now it has proven this again. I think France is doing this to make up for its poor stance towards Tunisia. If it's to defend democracy and fight a dictator, then it's okay. But we also need to see what happens elsewhere. For Corsicans, the airbase is a constant reminder of the conflict. Many are closely monitoring events on the other side of the Mediterranean and registered how Germany steered clear of any military involvement. I think it's too bad. I don't really understand the German foreign minister's decision. I think they've broken away from solidarity with Europe. I think a lot about the European project, and I want it to succeed. The pilots don't resent Germany, otherwise a close partner. At most, they make off-camera jokes that Germans could also sit in this cockpit. For the military, the main thing is ensuring that the current coalition is successful. The original aim of the French and British was to prevent a massacre, which is what we feared in Benghazi. From this perspective, the mission was a total success from day one. Since then, 15 flights a day take off from Solanzara alone. But it's not clear how long operations will continue. I think we can be proud that we've helped save the lives of helpless civilians. These pilots can take a rest, but the next planes are already taking off. And in a few hours, the Franco-British team will set off for Libya once again.